everyone to this conference call. Uh, today we'll be going over a lot of material. Um, it is an open forum, so if anyone has a question, I know I have recruiters on uh, from different parts of the country. So if you do have a question, please ask. Uh, don't wait for me to finish a, a, a certain topic, um, because if you don't understand it, I'm sure there's one or two other people uh, who may not uh, also understand it. Uh, the key today is just to give you uh, a better overview of, of how to conduct and, and do your business uh, within the company. Um, and by no stretch of the imagination do I expect everyone to to remember everything. So I am recording this, and, and as long as it doesn't sound completely awful, um, I will make it available, uh, hopefully, to uh, any recruiter who wants to uh, revisit today's conference call. So once again, I do want to welcome uh, uh, some of our new recruiters who are participating. I know we have uh, we have a couple of recruiters who have been with the company. I know, uh, Sean Nimitz, you're on the call from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, I, know I am, Sean. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Sean has been with the company uh, it's probably almost a year now, right, Sean? About a year, uh-huh. Yeah, so About and, a year. We really want to get Sean up and going. So um, please, if you have a question, definitely ask. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about how we actually, uh, how we process an order, uh, what exactly do we do when we get an order, uh, what, what, what is the actual uh, procedures. And this is extremely important. Uh, an order will, will definitely originate, uh, hopefully, after we're after a free evaluation. And the, the key to our company is for the recruiter to sit down with mom, dad, and the student athlete, uh, listen to their needs, uh, talk about the recruiting process, talk about what we do, recommend a program that the recruiter thinks fits the student athlete's needs, um, and then at the same time see if the family want to move forward uh, with the program. Now, Fast forwarding, you're you're with a family and they decide they want to use our our service and they want to roll their son in, or daughter. In this case, this would have been a son into our uh, full exposure and online video streaming slash editing program for uh, uh, one thousand five hundred ninety five dollars. Um, you're sitting in their home. They want to move forward with it. Um, the the first question after they say. Drew, we decided to move forward. What's the next step? Um, the next step would be that the family, including the student athlete and the recruiter, uh, complete the contract, which means that, that the student athlete has to sign the contract, a parent has to sign the contract, and the recruiter has to sign a contract. At that point, after everybody has signed the contract, uh, you, you're going to definitely ask the family, folks, how do you want to pay for this check, credit card, money order? Uh, most people will pay with a with a credit card. Uh, we take Visa, Mastercard, Discovery, American Express. If somebody wants to pay with a check to give you cash, please don't turn it away. Um, but you're not going to send the company cash. Basically, you're going to call the company up, um, or after you've processed the order, we're going to see cash. So either we're going to contact you, or you're going to contact us, and we're going to talk about how to get the company payment. We might tell you to send us the full thing in a check, or we might tell you to take your commission and send us a check, uh, but, but we'll definitely talk to you about that. Um, now, at that point, after they've signed the contract, uh, what every recruiter should at that point tell the family, what's going to happen now, folks? What's going to happen is I'm going to go back to my office, I'm going to process the order, I'm going to let the company know that you've enrolled Jimmy into our program, and at which point the company is going to send out uh, electronically by email, the company is going to send out a welcome letter to Jimmy, and in that welcome letter it's going to direct Jimmy to, the, uh, to our website to go to the profile info uh, link, at which point uh, Jimmy and, and, and the family is going to start inputting information to send to the company. So basically... You're going to tell the family we're going to do that. I'm always asked by recruiters, should I show them how to log on and get to the link and sit there and help them with it? Um, we don't recommend it because it can be time-consuming. 
it's conceivable that maybe the parents and the student athlete doesn't have all the information, um, and there's no sense sitting there for another hour, two hours, et cetera. Um, you could just basically tell them that a welcome letter is going to be coming electronically. Please check your email because it's going to direct you to the uh, profile information worksheet. And if anyone on this call hasn't gone and reviewed it, please do so. You want to familiarize with what types of questions we are going to be asking the student athlete in the event they ask you, well, what exactly is it that I'm going to be filling out? We want you to be uh, acquainted with, with the types of questions, their personal questions, high school questions, academic, athletic, and some other questions. We, we ask them for their geographic preference. We ask them at what level do they want us to, whether it's Division One, Two, or Three, and AIA, they can check all or some. Um, please familiarize yourself with those. So at that point, you're going to fill out the contract. Leave them a, a copy of the contract. You take the original with you. Um, if they've given you a check, take the check with you. If they've given you a credit card at the bottom of the contract, we'll ask for the uh, credit card number, the expiration in the billing zip code, we do not need the three-digit number uh, on the back of the uh, credit card because we're not processing the credit card with the credit card in front of us. Plus, we also know that it's, a, it, it's hopefully if it's a credit card of, of that individual, we have to assume it's their credit card. So uh, we don't need that three-digit number. At that point, um, I typically, when I get the order, I really won't chit-chat for very long. Um, I'll let them know exactly what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to go back. I'm going to process the order. You're going to get the welcome letter. In the next couple of days, I will follow up just to make sure everyone's clear on what they need to do. At that point, um, I'm out the door. I go back to my office. I'll go online, and I'll process the order to the company. Uh, you will go to the order link. You will input uh, as much information as we require. And we will process the order typically um, if it's within the uh, 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 business hours, we will process it that same day. If it's, if it's in the evening, we'll process it first thing the next morning. If it's a credit card, we will process the credit card. If by chance the credit card doesn't go through and, and sometimes it, it's declined. And we find that it's declined not because they don't have adequate or enough uh, credit available, uh, we find that uh, maybe it's a new card and hasn't been activated. So it's not unusual for us to contact the recruiter and, and tell the recruiter, hey, uh, we tried to process Jimmy Jones's credit card. It got declined. Call the dad up. Find out of the mom. Find out what the problem is. Nine out of ten times it's because it's a new card and they haven't activated it and they just have to reactivate it and then – you can just tell us to uh, reprocess the credit card. Um, any questions on anything that we've talked about so far? Is there anybody still on the call? Yeah. <laughs> good, good. I'll ask that because uh, I remember once I must have spoke for about 20 minutes and it was some really good stuff. And when I did that, uh, it seemed like I was disconnected and and I lost all that that, that really good stuff. So. Every now and then I will ask if anybody's still on the call, and if, if somebody can just acknowledge, that would be great. So you go to your office, you process the order. Um, we'll get it. We'll process it. Uh, if they've paid with a check, what we recommend that you do with a check is that day, um, which is the next day, uh, we suggest that you send it out priority mail, put the check, the contract, send it out to the company, um, the sooner we get it, the sooner the clock starts for us to pay you your commission. So send it out priority mail. If it's a credit card, obviously we just want you to send out mail out the, the contract, and you can you can mail it out regular mail. Um, after we've processed the order, what we then do as a company is we we automatically send out the welcome letter to the student athlete. We like to have an email address of the parent. And we always CC the recruiter. And that, once again, if you don't see that uh, welcome letter within, you know, the first uh, mid-morning after you've placed an order, uh, send us an email. 
we want to make sure that the, your client has received uh, the welcome letter. And we're going to go over the welcome letter after we go over the new account procedures. At that point, it's really in your client's hands to start inputting the information and getting it to us. We generally recommend that you wait at least five or six days. If we don't get the information from your client, we're not going to panic. You're not going to hear anything from us for at least seven to ten days. If you're conscious and you're conscientious and you contact us within the first few days and you ask us, did you get Jimmy Jones profile information, unless it's a rush, rush order, a rush order would be he's a senior, we need to get it out ASAP, the family knows how important it is, um, we're probably going to respond back to you to say, give it a few more days before you contact the family. And we do that really for one reason and one reason only. Can anybody guess why we're not going to rush to find out from the family uh, within, let's say, five or six days if they have sent us the information? About it. Well, if you've read the contract, there's a clause in it that says we give them a four-day rescission period. Does everybody know what that means? Yes. Enlighten me. What does that mean? As far as the right to rescission? Yes. I thought it was a three-day. I think we say four days. We we give them four days. We give them four days. I believe it's just four days. We give them a the right to cancel and get a refund, a hundred percent right. refund. And and I, it's either three or four days business days. Uh, um, we and that that's why there's no sense even contacting a family during the rescission period because because you never know. And it's the same reason why if we do get the information from the family. Uh, within the first few days and we've put it into the profile uh, template and we've emailed it to the recruiter, we also recommend that you don't call the high school coach if the high school coach is the contact person till after the rescission period has expired. We just, it doesn't happen often. We just don't want a coach to put the kibosh on it for whatever reason. So just be aware. Don't panic. If you haven't gotten anything from us within three, four, five, six days, it's probably because if we have gotten it, we don't want you to write the scouting report or we haven't gotten it. Um, we will, after a certain period of time, we will send you an email and say, geez, we haven't gotten the information from your client. Uh, please contact, contact them. Conversely, um, Let's say you're, at, you're with a family, you go out on an appointment tonight, and the family, they want to move forward with this, and they say, Drew, can you come back, today is Tuesday, can you come back on Friday and pick up a check? And, of course, I say yes. And <coughs> what, what I recommend everyone does, and this is what I do, when you get back to your office that night, Process the order with a note saying, I'm picking up the check on Friday. Because what we're going to do is we're going to process that order like any other order. We're going to send them out a welcome letter. And believe me, if by the time you get there on Friday, they've already filled out the information uh, from the welcome letter, the chances are there's probably going to be a check there waiting for you. So it's, it's, it's always good if you get an order but they want to pay in two days or in a week, process the order, um, just indicating in the, uh, in the additional information field that you're picking up a check or you're calling them on Friday to get the credit card information. Because the worst thing that happens is 
We've sent them out a welcome letter, and they've decided not to move forward with this, and nobody processed. We didn't, we didn't really do anything other than send them out the welcome letter. So that's something I always recommend. When we do send you out the template, the recruiter is responsible to write the scouting report, and you will get a template from us on on how to call a high school coach and generically write the scouting report. We don't expect recruiters starting out to be uh, world beaters in writing a scouting report. We understand that. Uh, we will edit and, and work with whatever information you give us. We do give you enough examples. Just follow our template when writing a scouting report. Um, after you've written the scouting report and we've given you the final profile, the final profile included any information that maybe we were lacking, a picture, some stats, you got the uh, scouting report, you've reviewed it, now you send it on to your client. Uh, and your client reviews it and hopefully you don't get somebody who is a uh, uh, professor of, of English and we've gotten a few of those over the years where we're constantly making changes of, on, on nouns and pronouns and adverbs in the scouting report. And people think that, you know, we're writing, uh, you know, war and peace when really it's, it's, it's just, uh, you know, short blurbs for a college coach just to get a, just to get a gist and a feeling for, uh, you know, key points on the student athlete but we have to deal with it um, so as soon as they approve the profile uh, you will send back an email saying the family has approved it we will then put it into the queue to be processed um, at which point when the profile does get processed we will send an email to the student uh, to the recruiter we will also send the database and list of schools that we've sent the profile to, we ask you to pass that on to your client. And it's not unusual within the first day of processing by mail and also electronically for the student athlete to be contacted by college coaches. Well, how, how bizarre and how crazy.